Today we're going to be looking at a lab called Work Done by a Solenoid. When we get through with this lab, you should be able to do two things. Be able to measure the holding force of a solenoid and be able to measure the pulling force of the solenoid. There's a lot of equipment in this lab. Um, main thing is different from the previous lab is that instead of using a motor, you're using a solenoid. And this solenoid is a little metal piece here that has a, um, a coil in here that using the electric current, it produces a magnetic force. And this magnetic force is the pulling force of the solenoid. Let's look at how this thing works. In the procedures, you're going to be mounting the rod supports on the breadboard. You've got your solenoid at the bottom here and you're going to mount a short crossbar here and then there's a long crossbar across the top and you're going to put on this little hanger here and this hanger allows you to hook up a single pulley with some nylon cord and this is your weight hanger and the weight hanger is so that you can hang different masses on it to measure the amount of pulling force. So when this thing's hooked up, it'll have current flowing through it with some stuff hanging down here. And when you get to a certain amount of weight, it's going to pull it out, which gives you the indication of the pulling force. <clears throat> There's a distance that you have to set up from the breadboard to the bottom of this piece here, and it's four and a half inches. So you take your ruler, look at it, and it's four and a half inches from here to here. There also is a uh, very important um, measurement that you have to be able to do. Um, is that uh, you're going to add 10 gram increments, 10 gram increments to this weight hanger. You don't just stick 500 grams on there, you're going to put just a little bit at a time. And so as you're looking at your data table and you're setting this thing up, make sure you realize that you're going in little small increments. You're going to do this in several steps. You're going to have a four bolt and a five bolt setting. Um, then there's a second part where you're going to measure what's called the pulling force. And to do that, you're going to have to disassemble this hanger right here and move it down to this short crossbar. And when you get this moved down here, you're going to be using a spring scale to connect it and adjust the height so that you can turn the voltage on and find out what the pulling force is um, in the solenoid based on the voltage. So there's two main steps. One of them is finding out what the pulling force is with a four volt and a five volt setting and um, adding 10 gram, increment, 10 gram increments. And then the last part is to disassemble this, put on the spring scale and find the pulling force. There are some questions at the end of this lab. Um, and they include, how does the solenoid holding force depend on the voltage across the solenoid? Does the holding force increase by the same amount of time the voltage increases by one volt? And also refer to your data table. What happens to the solenoid pulling force when you move the plunger, and that's what this thing right here is, when you move the plunger out of the coil? And then lastly, you're going to reinforce knowing how to convert from grams to kilograms and also when you get to kilograms converting those to newtons it's something that's ongoing so uh, enjoy <laughs> 